Hello there, only one Kenobi here, only one. Just starting with a little bit of a backstage look here before I zoom in on bo -Katan. I've changed this door here. This is no longer the man door, Lorian. It is uh, all my Vaders and Stormtroopers of all variancy. Because basically in my room here, I have all Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi. There's a few gaps on the wall, by the way. Prequels, and behind me is Star Wars, but... Look at this. This is the window that is boarded up. If you're new to my channel and you didn't know I'd done this, uh, twofold, it blocks out the natural light. And there's also more wall space. Ignore these things. I used to hang them on them, but now there's nails in the wall, which is good for hanging TVC uh, star cases. And if you don't know how I do it, because sometimes they can slide on the wall, I have a double. Look at this. So there's a, a, a nail there, and then I have another nail at the bottom. So watch. It locks in because sometimes they can swing. Anyway, God, we're supposed to be talking about Bo Katan, of which I've already talked about her once before. I reviewed her whenever it was, I can't remember now. Um, earlier this year, I believe, or maybe was it 2021? God, I can't remember. And so let me just mount the camera and we'll talk about her a little bit. Zoom in, brilliant figure. And I've also thought I would include in this video the Bo Katan Kryze, uh retro collection figure. Is it pronounced Kryze? hope so. <laughs> Bit too late now making the video. And the figure is phenomenal. Um, really good. Just because it's, you know, it has every aspect of articulation needed for a figure to be amazing, if that makes sense. And also the facial, the facial sculpt is amazing. And just like a six inch figure, I don't know what they do to the eyes. I don't know if they put a little dollop of some kind of shiny paint that makes it sort of sparkle. But there's so much life in these figures' eyes now. They all have it. They have done for a long time now. Obviously that with the photo real technology or whatever, but still she has it as well. It's just, it's just, I don't know, you can't really see it on camera there, but they're just brilliant figures. I'm going to take the helmet off as well. I think I've already reviewed it and done all that, but I'm going to put the helmet on so I'll take her head off to do that. But um, brilliant stance that as well. But firstly, let's have a quick look at these figures on card back. So there's this one here. This is the retro collection one, of course. You see a reflection of me there. Uh, retro collection, uh, chunkier obviously because it's going for that retro style and there's the back of that one but uh, I don't have any of them loose, they don't really float my boat what does float my boat is what is these, the, these are the most screen accurate presentation of a three and three quarter inch character from the screen and it looks like she has literally just jumped off the screen let's go handheld here and I'll show you uh, the car back excuse me a minute, <sighs> it's a little bit dusty there Get rid of that. I can't think I can get rid of that. The car back is all right. It's not the best car back in the world. It's a nice image of her. That's obviously from the season two. They're on that Imperial Light Freighter thing, whatever it is, that cruiser that they um, hijack. Brilliant sequence. She's really good in it. Same actress who did the voice of her that played her in this, which is awesome. And uh, let's get as close as we can. And see, all these figures vary so much. It's good that we can, you know, it's good we've, we've still got the bubble. Some people are going to lose that ability to see a figure before you buy it. You know, you can check out which is the best. Obviously, when I open a figure, I look for blemishes on the car back. I don't get things graded, but um, I do like to inspect them really closely. And then I will open the one that's in the worst condition. But also, I will take a good look at the figure. And the one that looks the best will be the one I open. Look at the armor. Brilliant, isn't it? Absolutely fantastic. She does look good in the in the bubble there. Warning leaflet there on the back. You've got these eight characters on the back there. I haven't got to Bib Fortuna yet, but I do remember I, re I reviewed Bib and IG-11, Mithril, all back when they first came out. I just thought I'd get them up on the channel, you know what I mean? And so they hence were not part of this series here. This is the quick shot series where I just... Do an overview and a bit of a waffle on each character and show the figure in one set pose. But in this case, I will put the helmet on because, she, you know, why not, eh? You can see there the barbell, whatever you want to call that, which means that you can detach the head and put that on instead, as opposed to a helmet that would have to go over that solid plastic head, which wouldn't work because, you know, that hair is solid. It ain't, Real hair that can squish up and get inside, fit inside that helmet there. Lovely design of helmet. Her helmet is available to buy in the Black Series as well. I'm not promoting it. I'm just telling you as a fact. Um, I haven't personally bought that. I do collect helmets, but I just, you know, 
a little bit of the financial crisis, fuel crisis and all that creeping in. But I also I, I made the decision before all that hype kicked in, you know, save I'm trying to save a bit of money. But I, it just didn't float my boat because um, no disrespect to female Mandalorians. Um, I just I don't know. I prefer one or two of my favorite helmets, which happen to be Boba Fett and Din Djarin. And also I see too much Sabine Ren in that. <laughs> design I'm, I'm not a big fan of sabine as much as uh bo katan anyway i think she's awesome but uh, anyway if that's a reason why it just you know has to really totally float my boat before i commit to a purchase uh anyway but here is bo katan there and it's just a phenomenal figure this if, if only you could see it because of the goddamn focus there you go sorry about that Look at all that articulation there on the thigh there. There's a swivel there and you've obviously got the ball jointed, ball jointed hips there and rocker ankles, it looks like. Yeah, and um, and a brilliant face. Look at that. She is amazing. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Nice shot there. Good focus. At least that she's focused and not the background. I say that and I've lost it. Look at that. I've bloody lost it, haven't I? Watch this now, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to mount the camera and I'm going to sw switch heads. Right. Here we go. you got to be careful. I don't want to snap anything. There you go. Look at that. See, it's got that rocker pigeon head bob thing going on. Um, do you know something, man? I don't think she looks as good. I think that helmet looks a bit too small, man. I think it needs to have a bit more width at the top. It looks like it goes quite narrow. So what do you think? It's like kind of a bucket head, like a Pac-Man ghost. I don't like that. Definitely certain I, I enjoy this figure better with the helmet under her arm. Because the head's so good, you don't want to waste a good head like that, man. She's just way too good. Now, she still looks good, man, but do you see what I mean by that? I think there should be more width at the top there. But um, there isn't. Interesting. Let's have a look at that logo there. What is this? Uh-huh. What is that? Has that got something to do with the House of uh, Crise or whatever it is? Clan. Is it Clan Crise? You've got Clan, Clan Vizsla... Clan Wren, all that. Be interested to see what happens in season three, though, man. Very interesting trailer that we've just watched. I was going to review that, and I never got around to doing it. I could still do it now, but it's a bit late, isn't it? It's been out for weeks. So there you are, ladies and gentlemen. Bo-Katan, crazy. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope I haven't pronounced her name correctly. Do subscribe for more. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One. Out.